Hello, this is a demonstration of the sliding box fumer that I've recently created. It's a prototype, and because it operates a little differently than other fuming boxes, uh, it doesn't show that well in the photographs in terms of how it operates, so I thought I'd do a short video to show. The unit's a little over 18 inches long, and it's about 6 by 6, and it's designed to take a uh, sixth plate. And the thing that's different about it is instead of moving a platen away from the fuming, the boxes that contain the iodine and the bromine actually move back and forth underneath the location of the plate. Now this is a little bit difficult to see because the block box is made in uh, black acrylic, which is both a little hard to see in the camera and it's reflective, but I thought I would show how it was constructed. Essentially, the idea with this is that you'd be able to put the plate in place and not have to move it at all in order to uh, achieve fuming. I thought this would save some um, handling of the plate, which can always lead to problems. So the unit is designed to work with a plate holder. This particular one is laser cut acrylic and um, it's designed to be held together with rare earth magnets to make it a little bit easier to um, mount it easily to a camera. I have a, a plate that's designed to fit on the back of an 8x10 that lines up these four rare earth magnets. And the piece also splits into two using, you know, again, a rare earth magnet coupling. The outer part is designed to actually uh, let you hold the plate. It's definitely uh, tight because you don't want that one to open during the course of uh, your photographic operation. And you may be able to see inside that it's designed to hold the 16th plate. Uh, this is a sample piece of copper. The laser cutting is nice. It's quite accurate. So it fits really cleanly uh, inside that setting. This particular holder is also designed with adapters uh, for um, you know, several different sizes, and those just snap in place. Uh, again, the laser cutting accuracy is really helpful in these units. And you can see the frame. They go in very neatly. And this, this particular one is the size that I use for the 35 millimeter plates that I'm using to practice with because they cost a little less money. So anyway, you put this in, you put your plate in, in preparation for fuming, you slide the uh, folding slide in, and that keeps it in snugly. And then this unit, you know, this secondary slide will open when it's actually mounted to the camera. That piece comes off during the fuming process and is just set aside. And this then becomes the piece that fits into the fumer. And it's designed so you can rotate it in 180 degree increments. Um, I may change the design so, somewhat so it could actually be rotated to each side. But that fits neatly into the piece in top. There's a little lug that holds it in place and it fits there quite snugly. And then uh, the inside box is, this one is black acrylic which is resistant to iodine. And this one is type 2 PVC, which is resistant to bromine. And there's a plate on top with a thumb screw that actually tightens down the floating top and keeps the fumes in when it's being stored. And you loosen both of those up for the fuming operation. And the fuming, of course, is accomplished by sliding the internal boxes so that now it's in place underneath the fuming plate and is performing the fuming action. And when it's time to, uh, you know, change to the bromine, you simply slide the bromine box over. So it makes it a little easier. You don't have to move the plate from box to box. You don't have two boxes to deal with. And then in the course of that fuming, of course, you could swap the plate around. Experimentally, I also tried making the bottom out of a piece of mirrored acrylic uh, and you can actually look down inside the front and look up into the plate. And when the boxes are slid back, you could shine a light in there and see the color progress. I don't know how visible that's going to be, but this is a pilot. Um, I'm going to take it apart so you see how it works, actually. 
the the hold down pieces are actually just loose clear acrylic and they come out you can see they have the thumb screw in them if I get it up against something white there um, and there's two of those pieces and they slide out quite easily and then what actually provides the seal on the box and the support spot for the, the um, plate holder is another piece of black acrylic which in this case has a piece of Teflon laminated to it. And this is a special Teflon that can actually be glued to uh, a piece of acrylic with no problem. This particular one I've also sanded off so it's not uh, gloss. I was experimenting with a couple of different finishes. Then that allows you to remove the fuming glasses themselves. In this case, the bromine one, uh, which you can see is the gray type 2 PVC. And what this provides is not only, of course, the surface that it slides on, but it gives you a much wider seal around the top against the piece of Teflon. And my hope in that, of course, is to uh, you know, hold the fumes in more effectively. And then the same thing for the, the iodine box, which is the same construction. And then um, you know, the inside, as I said, is the piece of mirrored acrylic. It's already fairly scratched up. I may work out something of putting some felt sliders on the bottom. So anyway, I thought it was a, a, a departure in design. It still remains to be tested, but it, uh, I think is a design that may prove useful. Let's get it back together here. With those tightened down, it actually becomes quite snug, and I think we'll hold the fumes in quite well. Thank you.